Hello, this is Lucid Alvar here, and you're probably wondering, I bought this game because it was probably on sale for $15, and I don't know why else I would buy it other than it being on sale, and I actually played it, and I am a little bit more interested in it. Well, guys, you've come to the right video because I will be helping you get far in this game by giving you my top five utter beginner tricks, but... Before before we do that, before before we even get into the video, hit that sub button because we're almost at 1k and and that that's the only reason because we're almost there. But let's get straight into it. So we got coming in at number one, probably the most important, important starter tip is to harvest iron. So now when you guys are running around and everything, you know, it's nice to get your athletics up in a little bit, you know, just be running around, getting them Kenshi vibes. But you should be running around with iron on your back and why i say iron is and not copper is because iron is actually a lot heavier than iron and you know like something that i will do that i would do personally that i recommend you guys to do is that you harvest this iron right and you just walk from town to town to town all the way until you get to like because usually you'll spawn in the pl this place called the hub and usually you'd want to go and i'll circle this on the map i'll put it up on here you want to go to the um, blister hill in you know up north in holy nation land and you want to walk all the way over there and if your strength still isn't at a reasonable level of like about 30 around 30 or so then you know you want to walk back a couple towns and you know do do a little bit more and what i would also recommend is kind of buying a backpack but you know bat backpacks do reduce encumbrance but they do let you encumber yourself more so they don't <laughs> completely ruin your encumbrance but you know that is something that i would recommend doing but i would do that until like you know you're at a, maybe around 30s or so and then after that you know you can make some heavy armor and carry it around and that'll boost up your strength too but without further ado let's get into the fourth tip of this it's um so now that you're at Blister Hill and you have somewhat respectable stats and you have some money and, you know, you could probably afford a nice, a little bit of a cheap weapon and some armor. Make sure you invest into armor or maybe not, you know, like sometimes I'll play shirtless for a while, but, you know, it's really risky if you like, you know, you, you're, you don't want to lose an arm or something like that because it does happen. Anyways, you know, let's do, you just, you just have to go to the, where the river raptor spawn, which I'll circle it down. I think it's pretty much in an Okran's pride and you know, you have to go there and you go around and fight these river raptors. You know, at first you'll be getting beaten to hell, but make sure you guys can, um, don't get beaten up so bad where you can't, um, you know, come back from unconscious. That's the only time where I would recommend you safe scum a little because, you know, you don't want to pretty much get hit to the point where you can't come back. So, you know, you have to like be able to kind of micromanage yourself a little and you know as you get better and better toughness from these you're going to be able to start be beating the shit out of rev river raptors and you'll have food technically you'd have food and you also have skin to sell so you know there's that too anyways you know as, as you do that and as you you know get better and better stats from that you go and fight bigger and better animals like you'd move up to bone dogs and then after bone dogs you'd move up to goats because we both we all know how strong goats are right <laughs> nah i'm just playing but you know there you just do start moving up more maybe you'll even get to a pack bull but you know pack bulls are pretty you know tough to beat so i would take it a little bit slow i would say around respectable would be like around 50 toughness or so just so you don't get knocked out easily and when you do get knocked out you'd still be able to come back up you know like pretty much toughness is one of the things you do want to level up a lot because you know if you have low toughness then you know you're just going to get knocked out and then not be able to come back up like toughness is pretty much the stat where you get knocked out and you're able to come back up so one thing that i actually messed up on in my first playthrough of kenshi is that you know i uh I was trying to build too fast and I wasn't trying to stay in town. So, you know, I, um, that well, staying in town wasn't an option back then when I started playing Kenshi, you know, like that, that option wasn't available yet to like stay in town. So, you know, my biggest tip to anybody out there is don't try to build the town right off the start. It's not going to work. You know, you're going to get raided by bandits. You're going to have, you know, prayer day or tax day that you can't even freaking afford or something like that. And, you 
you know, it's going to be bad for everything just like that, just for those reasons. And the reason I say stay in town is because if you can build a, like a nice little base in town, then you don't really have to worry that much. You know, like you have a resting station, like, you know, you can research all the stuff you need before you build a base and then build that base. So it's just, you know, a lot of things that you could do before you go out and build that base, you know. And, you know, when you build too fast, you're not going to be able to make back at least half of what you spent on all those building materials and stuff because we all know how difficult that is also the cool thing about staying in town is that you can kind of have your own shop if you have like a mod or two installed that can help it a little bit because you know the default one is kind of not the best but you know it is pretty good out there so now for my fourth tip is um you know if you really want to level yourself up hard hard like i'm talking balls to the wall hard you need to get yourself enslaved and if you can get yourself enslaved you can level your skills even more and more because you can just fight the guards and they'll heal you up actually because you're technically part of their pro property now and they want you to work for them and you'll also be able to labor and encumber yourself and do all that fun stuff and you know you can also work on your lock picking skills and free other slaves and all that but you know just you know take that into mind you can uh, get yourself enslaved and you know it, it, it works good it works well anyways um my ultimate best tip i can give you even though this contradicts what i said said earlier is don't save scum if somebody dies and you know like he's probably your favorite character and you know like that that i get but like don't save scum every time like something goes utterly utterly wrong because sometimes you know you just have to play through it trust me guys i know this i played it the hard way that's why all my characters have high s stats but their toughness is super low because i wouldn't be trying to like you know like you know go through all that stuff and you know safe scumming is really really like not the greatest for this game it, the game pretty much like puts a wall on safe scumming and it could really end up screwing you later in end game but hopefully you guys did enjoy remember leave a like subscribe do all that fun stuff and peace